I was um, always amazed, um, even very early in, in my research career, on, on how many mistakes and errors I was making all the time. And uh, some mistakes were very easy to uh, discover. For example, I remember that in one of my early papers I was running some mathematical simulations and I estimated that a patient would survive for 800 years, uh, even without treatment. Uh, that was extremely unlikely to happen, so I, I spent a couple of days and I found that there was a minus sign that had become a plus, and, and that was the explanation for that. Um, but it was not just errors that were so easily visible that would be so simple to correct. There were other things that uh, were more difficult to, to realize, and you would only realize that uh, you had made that mistake or that suboptimal choice once you had been exposed to some better methodology, to some better option, or you had seen the same problem not only in your own work but also in, in other studies and you started seeing a pattern that it's not just that single study that I'm working on, there's a dozen studies that have done that same mistake or there's a hundred studies or there's studies in very different scientific questions that have that same challenge and that same problem. So very early on I started thinking um, instead of just looking at one study at a time, is it possible to look at a universe of all the studies that have been done in a research question and then uh, look at the universe of all studies that have been done in a research field and try to see some patterns which are very difficult to discern if you're only focused on your very little uh, narrow world of a single experiment or a single publication that you want to make. And uh, that was a revealing experience for me and I'm, I'm sure that it has been a revealing experience for many other colleagues around the world who started having these meta-research approaches to scientific investigation.